please call the roll. Carrie Hodge, Council Member Ward 1 is absent. Jay Steph, Council Member Ward 2. Here. Lewis Tonsmeyer, Council Member Ward 3. Here. Nancy McDaniel, Council Member Ward 4. Here. Diane Tate, Council Member Ward 5. Here. Lori Pruitt, Council Member Ward 6. Here. Thank you, Renee. Our first order of business is the approval of our council meeting minutes from June 21st. Council, you have had these well in advance of tonight. Chair will entertain any additions, edits, corrections, or motions. Mayor didn't see any additions or corrections. Make a motion to approve. Second that. A motion and a second. All in favor indicate by saying aye. 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 The minutes are approved. We have a uh, case AZ 12-04, annexation and zoning application. Mr. Osborne. Thank you, Mayor. This is an annexation of a five unit apartment building from 96 and it is near the intersection with US 41 and Martin Luther King, the old Long John Silvers. If you head north on Roland Springs Road from there, off Roland Springs is the small Corinth Road and that's where this apartment complex is. It's part of a larger donut hole for public safety reasons and for a more consistent city school coverage area. This is recommended by city staff and planning commission approval. And this is second reading, no changes since first. Okay, any questions for Richard at this point? Thank you, sir. I'll open up a public hearing for the zoning portion of uh, this application, AZ 12-04. Anybody wishing to step forward and speak for or against may do so at this time. And seeing none, I'll close the zoning hearing and I'll open up an annexation uh, public hearing relative to 12, excuse me, AZ 12-04. And seeing none step forward, I will close that public hearing. Council, we now uh, will take up the annexation portion of this request. Chair will entertain any discussion or motions. Motion to approve. Second. All in favor indicate by saying aye. Aye. Motion carries. Now we will take up the zoning portion of this request. Any discussion or motions? Motion to approve. Second. All in favor indicate by saying aye. Aye. And that motion carries as well. So we'll now move on to case Z12-02. Richard. Thank you, Mayor. This rezoning of two properties because it's the same owner it falls under one case. This is near 41 and Main Street, but with frontage on the Dixie Avenue, Frontage Road and Cherokee Avenue. This is a vacant bank building and on Cherokee behind the bank building, an old house that since then has been converted into an office, but has been vacant for a couple of years. The zoning in this area is medium commercial MU currently, but the property owners for the highest and best use of the properties wish to rezone it to general commercial, which is consistent with the US 41 corridor. Staff and planning commission recommend approval. No changes since first reading. Any questions for Mr. Osborne on this item? Thank you, Richard. I'll open up a public hearing for the zoning application Z12-02. Anybody wishing to step forward and speak for or against may do so at this time. And seeing none step forward, I will close the public hearing and counsel it is for your consideration, uh, Z12-02. Motion to approve. Second. All in favor indicate by saying aye. 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 And the motion carries unanimously. Next item, Richard. Thank you, Mayor. The Board of Zoning Appeals, Lori Pruitt has chosen to appoint Ken Frazier to remain a board member. Ken Frazier was the ward appointee of Jay Stepp, and Mr. Stepp chose to appoint Hans Lugens to take that particular ward spot, but it'll be good for Ken Frazier, who's been on the board for about five or six years to remain. He's been a great board member and the appointment of Gene Lewis, who's been a, an excellent chairman and board member for 30 years. Mr. Lewis will cycle off and at a later date, we will formally recognize and appreciate his time and service. Absolutely. 
Okay. Chair will entertain a motion. Can I make my own motion? Make a motion to approve. Second. Second. Got a motion to second. All in favor indicate by saying aye. 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 And the motion carries unanimously. Loss distribution. Uh, yes, Mr. Mayor. This is a certificate that is uh, triggered uh, roughly by the decennial census negotiated every 10 years. This is the lost as opposed to the SPLOS that you recently did. The percentages of the split are the same with Cartersville receiving 19.3%. To give you an idea of what those dollar figures are, that total amount can vary between $1.6 and $2 million per month, and our take is around 20%. Uh, just FYI, Bartow County is it's a little over 68%. Um, New Harley's at 4.13%, Adairsville 4.64%, Emerson 1.97%, and White and Kingston at 0.955%. Uh, these are uh, based roughly on population, but state law does allow you to uh, base it on some additional items, so they're, they're negotiated percentages, but they are the same as the SPLOS. I recommend the council uh, approve this and authorize your signature. Okay. Any discussion? If there is none, the chair will entertain a motion. Motion to approve. Second. All in favor indicate by saying aye. 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 The motion carries unanimously. Mr. Reinhardt. Honorable uh, Mayor and Council, before you are the annual agency contracts, these are the outside agencies that the city funds. They were approved in the last budget or the, the last meeting in the budget. They include the Bartow Cartersville Library, the Cultural Arts Alliance, the Good Neighbors Shelter, the Learning Center at Summer Hill, Bartow County Juvenile Court, and Bartow Health Access. As I said, these are budgeted in the 2000, fiscal year 2013 budget. We do have all the East Save and Verified documentation in hand, and I recommend approval for this. Talk to you. The, these are at the same levels for uh, the yes, current sir, year, so there's no increase or decrease. Okay. And once again, councils, we just uh, discussed in the work session, any motion uh, should include language that uh, pertains, that uh, puts this pursuant to the approval of the city attorney for language to make sure that we're in compliance or that those agencies would be in compliance with the new open meetings, open records laws. And just to make sure that we're clear, the new open record, open meeting law says that if they receive more than a third of their funding from a government entity or from us, they are then subject to open meetings and open records. Yeah, and what, <clears throat> what we propose is to inquire of these different organizations whether that's factually true as to their particular organization, and if so, we need to add language to comply with uh, the new definition of the open to make Mayor, sure they I, comply with the requirement. I understand the amendment to this, but I, I want to make an additional comment. Uh, I am proud that the city of Cartersville is still able to do this. You know, we all do our reading and we know some of the challenges that many cities have, and indeed this one does sometimes, but we are still able to help some of these agencies, and, and I, I'm very proud of that. I think it's something our citizens are proud of because they all have a function that helps people. And um, anyway, just, just a comment. I know we all feel that way, but it needs to be said, I think. Okay. Any other discussion? All right, I'll make a motion to approve the contract for performing services uh, subject to the city attorney's review. Uh, for compliance with the Open Records and Open Meetings Act and amendment where necessary. Second. A motion and a second. All in favor indicate by saying aye. Aye. The motion carries unanimously. Thank, Thank you. you, Tom. Hello, Mr. Porta. Mayor and Council, before you is a lease agreement for our properties on Cherokee Street that have been operated as a Montessori school for a number of years. New ownership, uh, ownership of the property uh, 
of the rental of this Montessori school several months ago. The existing lease agreement expired. This uh, new lease agreement will run through December 2017. It does have some increasing the rental rates. Uh, the rental eight, uh, the release or has approved that, and I recommend approval of this right lease agreement. Any questions, comments, or motions? I have a question of our, our attorney, please. Uh, David, you have reminded us before that we, that a city council cannot obligate uh, farther than our terms go out. And this says up to, does that up to take care of it, renew for up to one five-year term? Yeah, it's yeah. got to have language in there that provides uh, for termination automatically. I mean, I mean that you can terminate it within a certain period of time before the expiration. And it does have that language in there every year. Every calendar year it expires in December unless the council takes effect, okay. takes action. It automatically renews unless you do take action. So it basically it's a one year. The first, the rest of this calendar year goes through December 2012 and then yearly after that, unless the council takes action too. I offer a motion that we uh, enter this agreement, a contract with the property at 324 and 326 West Cherokee Street. Second. All in favor indicate by saying aye. 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 And motion carries. Uh, just note for those of you that have an agenda, uh, item E3 uh, is going to be removed from the agenda tonight. We're going to get some paperwork in order and we'll put, put that on the future agenda. Now it's my pleasure to welcome best dressed for the evening, <laughs> Chief Goldpepper. Thank you. It's, uh, the Carnival Police Department uses the uh, USA software as its data management system. And we sign an annual service uh, and support agreement with them, and it is time to do that. Uh, this is a proprietary uh, software. They have provided this to us for at least 10 years. The current uh, agreement rate is $28,876.30 for the year. This is a budgeted item as it has been for the last several years and we do have the e-verify and save documents in hand. Thank you. Any questions for Chief on this one? Don't let the code throw you off. It's still packing. That's good. <laughs> I want them on that wall. I need them on that wall. <laughs> Chair will entertain a motion. So move, Mayor. Second. Got a motion and a second. All in favor and keep it saying aye. 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 Motion carries. Thanks, Chief. All right, a couple of bid purchases for you. The first one is a fuel management system. We've uh, our current fuel management system is 15 plus years old in need of uh, improvement. Uh, we went out to bid and have about five bids we received. We're evaluating the bids. We selected Atlanta Petroleum Equipment Company in the amount of $46,000. This uh, system will update the terminal. We've had a numerous problems in the past several months at the terminal. People go in there and try to get gas. The cards don't work. Uh, it does need The old system needs to be replaced, and I recommend approval of this purchase. Okay. Questions or comments? And if there are none, Chair will entertain a motion. Motion to approve. Second. All in favor indicate by saying aye. 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 Motion carries. Continue on, sir. The next item is for the gas and water system. We, uh, under the FCC, we're having an airbound, be airbound compliant. We need to upgrade their uh, system. The last meeting, you updated the Public Works Department. This one, again, is for the gas and water department for their frequency. The total is $8,670, and I recommend approval of this purchase. Okay. Questions on this item? Motion to approve. Second. All in favor and keep by saying aye. Aye. Motion carries. Thank you, Dan. You're up, Ed. Mayor, Council. This item is for purchase of a piece of equipment for the water treatment plant. It's an air compressor used for the filter control system. It's in need of a replacement. It's an original unit that's been in operation since the plant came online in the early 70s. We received prices from three different suppliers. Ingersoll ran, submitted the low price in the amount of $12,663. We recommend approval of this purchase from Ingersoll Rand for $12,663. Will be paid for from the budget item for maintenance of the water treatment plant. We do have the e-verify and save documents. Any questions or comments? Any questions? Any comments? Any questions? Any comments? Any questions? Any comments? Any questions? 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 Any quest
questions on this item? Make a motion to approve the low bid from Ingersoll Rand. Second. The motion is second. All in favor indicate by saying aye. Aye. And the motion carries. Before we get to the financial report, we do have two items to add. The chair will entertain a motion to add those two items. So moved. Second. All in favor? Aye. aye. Items are added. Mr. Quist. Thank you, Mayor and Council. Uh, perhaps you uh, recall a couple of years ago, the city of Cartersville applied for uh, funding for the pre disaster mitigation grant. Uh, from the federal um, FEMA, uh, Federal Emergency Management Agency. And uh, the purpose of this funding was to acquire and demolish uh, three properties located within the city that are prone to uh, repeated flooding. And uh, this was a way to help uh, manage that flooding issue and uh, help out the folks that were in these, in these houses. Uh, at this point, uh, this process has gone on for a while, but it is moving forward. Uh, the latest uh, action that has been taking place is the, um, the project was reviewed by the State Historic Preservation Office and basically they were looking to see if there would be any sort of adverse effect on historic properties uh, in the scope of this project. Uh, they did determine that two of the three properties were, quote, uh, contributing resources to the eligible West End Historic District and the demolition of these properties will result in an adverse effect to historic properties. Their definition is pretty loose, so that probably sounds scarier than it actually is. However, um, they have essentially uh, given us uh, some steps that, uh, that we and FEMA, uh, the Federal Emergency Management Association, our agency, can take uh, to mitigate uh, those adverse effects. And uh, essentially, FEMA is handling that process. Uh, the city of Cartersville is within this memorandum of understanding uh, saying that we support this effort to, um, to mitigate uh, those adverse effects. Essentially, FEMA will hire a contractor to come in and document the, um, the neighborhood and uh, archive that information, and we will be keeping a copy of that information on site, and that will be our sole responsibility. There's no cost or anything associated with this. So I'm asking for and recommending your approval uh, of this memorandum of understanding between FEMA uh, GEMA, which is the state version of FEMA, uh, the State Historic Preservation Office in the city of Cartersville. Is there any indication about how much longer this is going to take after we get our no. the ball back in their court? No. I think the good, the good thing about this, even though it's been two years into it, is it indicates it's very much still alive, and if it is funded, there will be mm -hmm. no out-of-pocket money for us, and I'll take both of those. It, Two or three. 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 There is some indication. Uh, there's a timeline attached to this document that suggests that this process itself will go into, say, October of this year. So Are there three properties? Three properties, three but properties. only two okay. were identified as uh, potential adverse effects. And so, so it's still working on it. That's yeah, good. That, but we are very hopeful that the funding will come through. So. Now, Tom, all three of these properties still would like to have this happen. Absolutely. Okay. Then. Absolutely. And, and from my perspective, it would be a real help to the historic district because this is a flooded area. Right. I mean, yeah. Uh, we believe that it would, you know, would assist with uh, yeah. stormwater management as well I as just providing some relief. See that when they yeah. come here. It's it's a real I health and safety that. concern for the, the families that, that reside there as well. So yeah. sure. it would be a great project if we could get it. Okay. Any other discussion? And if not, chair is ready to entertain a motion. Motion to approve. Second. All in favor indicate by saying aye. Aye. And motion carries. Thank you, Tom. And Greg, you have the next item. Yes, sir, Mayor and Council. This is uh, uh, concerning a project at the Senior Aquatic Center, the, the pool pack. Uh, this project started uh, in March, uh, giving us problems. Uh, we first contacted the Hill Company, who was the original installer of the pool pack. Uh, they came out and gave us a temporary fix. Uh, we have since contracted with, uh, with, well not contracted, but with Southeastern Heat and Air uh, to come in. Uh, the parts have been ordered uh, and supposedly uh, delivered and I recommend paying the amount of $7,664. Uh, I'm trying to get it out of last year's budget, but uh, I have all the uh, liability insurance certification and E-Verified documentation. I recommend paying this this amount out of your maintenance count in last year's budget maintenance so you take it out yes. of the maintenance you got yes, money sir. in there for it yes sir okay. 
Any discussion? Make a motion to approve. Second. second. A motion and a second. All in favor indicate by saying aye. 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 Motion carries. Thank you, Greg. And now Mr. Reinhardt's got the finance report for us. Honorable Mayor and Council will be looking at the April 2012 and comparing to April 2011. In the general fund, revenues have decreased over April 2011 by $122,000. Expenses have decreased by $734,000. This is due to decreased capital expenses. If you remember last year at this time, we had purchased two fire engines to the tune of about $790,000. Three areas of revenues that I would monitor on a monthly basis are the local option sales tax. From April 2011, we are at a decrease of $364,000. Police fines and forfeitures, we have an increase of $71,000. And building permits and inspections, we have an increase of $23,000. The water and sewer fund, revenues have increased over last April by $199,000. Expenses have increased uh, by $118,000. This increase in the ex expenses is due to increased capital expenditures. In the gas fund, revenues have decreased from last year by $2.45 million. Expenses have also decreased by $1.69 million. In the electric fund, revenues have increased from last year by $3.33 million, while expenses have also increased by $2.34 million. And this increase is due to increase in operating expenses along with increasing <coughs> cost of purchase of electricity. In the stormwater fund, revenues have increased from last year by $38,000. Expenses have decreased by $279,000. This is due mainly to a decrease in capital expenditures. In the solid waste fund, revenues have increased from last year by $17,000. Expenses have increased by $157,000. This increase in expenditures is due mainly to the capital expenses. If you remember, this year we bought a recycling truck and also recycling carts. Those amounts should be reimbursed in May and June for those purchases. And finally, in the fiber optics fund, revenues have decreased from last year by $119,000, while the expenses have decreased by $52,000. This decrease in expenses is uh, due to decreased operating expenses, decreased meat decreased MEAG debt service, and decreased capital expenses. And that's my report for the month April. Thank you. Any questions for Tom on the finance report? Thank you, sir. Thank you. Any other business that needs to come before council this evening? Come on, Greg. Yes, sir, Mayor and Council. I want to announce that uh, this Saturday, uh, uh, July the 7th, uh, that our Dillinger pool uh, will be closed for Saturday. The, we will be hosting the GRPA 5th District swim meet at, uh, at the pool. We've got over 350 swimmers coming in from six agencies. Uh, so we'll have a, uh, have a real good swim meet. I also want to tout our local swim team, the Cartersville Cobias. They went undefeated this year in our, in our uh, we, we uh, compete in the uh, Cherokee County Swim League and we went 5-0. Our, our youth baseball uh, teams, we've uh, been involved in our district tournaments this past weekend. And uh, we have uh, three district champions that will be going uh, next weekend to uh, Augusta, Savannah, and Bainbridge, uh, representing Cartersville in youth baseball. Great. Thank you. Any other business? Uh, very quickly, obviously, yesterday we celebrated uh, Independence Day. And we had a lot of people that worked hard to put that together. I want to thank the Cartersville Optimist Club, who handled all the events out at the park and the, and the fireworks that I know all residents enjoyed. And also uh, all the public safety people and, and those city employees that had to work on that day while the rest of us were enjoying that. And certainly a thanks to all the servicemen and women that keep us safe every day. Uh, lastly, I want to send out a special welcome to the, the cast and crew of Devil's Knot that are shooting in this community. It's a major movie that's was has all the activity downtown. They're helping the local economy. I think it's a little feather in the cap of, of our community, and uh, we're just we just wanted to extend a, a proud welcome to them and happy they're here. And I know that, Diane, you had some other information on yes, what's sir. going on there. Mm -hmm. Our tourism department tells us that we're camera ready in Bartow County, and, and I think that's nice to hear. I talked to the producer of The Devil's Knot this morning, and he said, I tell you, this community really is camera ready. 
He said, everywhere we've gone, people have been nice to us. The courthouse has been accommodating. Uh, public safety has helped. Public works has helped. But he said, more than that, every restaurant we go into, every place we go, people are just nice in this town. And he said, I would recommend this town to any other company. I thought that was mighty nice. Maybe That's I good. wanted to share that with people. Thank you very much. Anything else? Motion to adjourn. Some of We're adjourned. Yeah.